craziest couples ever. What's going on guys, Shaq Reacts here once again, and the short shots and wild clips of the craziest couples I can find. The Luxembourg clip will be at the end guys, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. For this first one, it is absolutely insane how this woman tried to blackmail her ex, all because he broke up with her and broke her heart. She literally tried to ruin this man's life, this is actually not the first time I've ever heard of women doing this, all because they didn't get what they want, and they wanted to literally try ruining this man's life, thank god he was recording everything. There's a rumor that you're a p You're literally going to stoop that low to start a rumor that I'm a that's not even something you yeah. joke about. Yeah. Well, you broke my heart, so now I'm going to ruin your career. Okay, first of all, I don't know, like, I'm not scared, because I know that's not going to work. Like, how would you... How would it not work? How would it not work? Well, first of all, I'm recording this, <laughs> so I'm just going to okay. post it, so everyone oh, knows that you're so lying. Well, it's just going to flop, like, all your other posts. It's going to get two views, no. and then you're going to get embarrassed, and you're going to delete it. So no one will see it. I'm not scared. And this sucks me with these women over here who are pretty much exposing their father's behavior. I hate when women try to expose these kind of things, acting like they're proud of it, and when in reality, he's just disgusting. It's your craziest college confession. I f my ex-boyfriend's best friend just for fun. What? Just for fun. Oh, I all of his friends just for fun. Yeah. It's an evil world we live in. And this next one, I guess this girl had fun in the streets and immediately got burned. She now knows that she's not going to play in the streets anymore. But then again, what did it cost you? Whoever said that the streets were fun. Oh, I'm just going to go back to the streets. They're lying. No one, no one, no one should be playing in the streets. It's not safe. I like a nice sidewalk. Where I have a clear path. You can go anywhere in the streets. Don't listen to anyone ever when they say that. And this next one is definitely one of the most cringiest videos I have ever seen. Basically, this man over here ends up trying to call his crush, ask her out on a date, and guys, this man has no riz at all. By that, I mean this guy cannot speak game. He does not know how to talk to girls, and it was so awkward and just so cringe to hear this entire conversation go down. I'm seeing anybody right now? Bro, this dude is. I'm not seeing anybody now. Bro, would you want to see me? I'm a, I'm a break some dude is not for real. This dude is not for real. Now, the topic of Riz and knowing how to spit game, this guy was able to pull this girl by literally bashing her. Now, by that, I mean he was literally name calling her a bunch of things, and for some odd reason, she was still into him. White girls like black men. You like niggas? Are you calling me big? No, I'm not calling you big, but you just like not small. Yeah. You like a buck sixty, right? No. How much you weigh? I'm like 135. How tall are you? 5'4. That's besides the point. You you like niggas? Yeah. I know you do. How old, how old are you? I'm 18. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of them niggas, huh? I like you too. What's up? Like you get hey. freaky. You freaky? <laughs> Sound like that. That's the freakiest thing you ever done. I've had a threesome before. Oh uh, yeah, you see you're freaky. And this next one I really do feel bad for this guy. Basically, he's actually in a very tough situation where his wife is literally cheating on him behind his back. And he also has kids he doesn't want to leave and he doesn't want to kind of ruin the entire family dynamic, which I absolutely respect. But then again, you also have to respect yourself. You can't handle this anymore. And staying with the woman who's cheating on you constantly is definitely not something you could stay in. You caught her with another man in May 2020 and you're still living in the same house. Yeah. Here's the thing, you don't have to leave your kids because right now your kids are seeing you in a situation where you're yeah, suffering. Yeah. Your kids are seeing their father yeah. suffer. And I know what you're doing right now is you're caught in a mental false dichotomy. You think if I'm leaving, I'm going to lose my kids or I'm going to get really hurt. If I stay, I'm suffering like a pig. You have to understand what's going to happen if you stay in that position. Do children learn by what you tell them or do they learn by modeling their behavior? They model their parents' behavior. And if you want to increase the probability that your children are going to suffer like you will, that they're going to tolerate a shitty relationship. It's not even a relationship anymore. It's not a relationship anymore. It's nothing. She cheated on your ass. Her. Now, what I mean by that is always be respectful. Always be respectful, never be aggressive, always be calm, be respectful. But you're not setting boundaries. In this next we have a woman over here. Sometimes she drops some stupid logic, but this one actually makes kind of sense. If you guys are ready to get your feelings hurt, absolutely try this trick out. I'm sure it actually works. You know if you're if you're the ugly friend. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. How do you know if you're the ugly friend? Ask a child. They don't know you. Take a picture of you and your friend. Hold it up to some child. Who's prettier? Who's ugly in this picture? Okay. And this next one, this woman's absolutely insane. Basically, she decides to let a big secret out that her husband never actually found out about. And she decides to say it on live TV with her husband in the background. And let me just say, he was definitely shook. I felt like he didn't love me no more. And I honestly felt that. And I felt like he was doing stuff on me. 
And truth be told, he was locked up at the time, and, and that's when I did it. Okay. So, so, did he know about this? No. He's just finding out for the first time? Yes, I'm, I'm going to be honest about everything. You took us through this. You started this, not me. You started this, and you cheat. And this next we have this man over here. I guess he starts spitting some game with these girls. Let me just say they don't like him. They don't like his vibe, whatever it was. He should have just handled the rejection and moved on. But instead, he decides to complain and absolutely give like a sad story tale for why these girls are treating him incorrectly. When in reality, these girls just don't like you. And you should just move on instead of you complaining about it. You girls acting like everyone is a weirdo around you. Uh, I'm not a weirdo. I'm a normal you're, dude you trying to be nice and invite people to an after party. Poorly. Thank you. You're treating us poorly? I'm Reflect. treating you poorly? Yeah. You better wake up, girl. <coughs> Reflect. You're I will, I, I will not shut the up. Reflect. I'm tired of you girls Reflect. trying to act like you own men. You do not own men. I do not say that. I'm, I'm a hot guy. I can get plenty of hot girls. So get the out of here, bitch. Rock on. Do you not... And this next one, this guy absolutely spits facts. Basically, he's going on to explain how the girls who don't have Instagrams are absolute queens, even though they're very hard to find since they have no social media. Once you do find them, they're definitely keepers. This is Holland's new girlfriend. She has no Instagram. That is the dream of every man today, a beautiful girl that has no Instagram. That's a unicorn, but she's never been in the streets. And this next, we have this woman over here who definitely hit the wall. I guess she reached a certain age or a stage in her life where she realized that she doesn't want to work anymore and be an independent woman. Then again, how long did it take you to realize that? And what was the cost? Yeah, I renuncio. Ya no quiero ser independiente. Ya, yeah, I want to be spoiled and taken care of because I don't have to, I shouldn't have to be stressing about this. I'm tired. And this next one, I absolutely hate this question. Anything to do with zodiac signs and such absolutely pisses me off. How long have you guys been together? Four years. I know that one. <laughs> What's her star sign? God knows. <laughs> And this next one, I don't like this clip at all. This man should have had more respect for himself and have more respect for his girl. These are the kind of men, in my opinion, that are just not true men. Why would you actually act like that? What would you do if you found your brother shagging your girlfriend? Nah, be silent. I'll just fist bump him and be like, yeah, mate, that's calm. That's class, mate. And this next, I absolutely found this clip hilarious. I just really wanted to add it in. And this next one, this guy basically explains how he got a girl overseas and how these girls absolutely love him. And I'm going to be very honest with you guys. There is no other reason this woman's into him other than his money and what he can provide. So sometimes getting a girl overseas is a bit tricky. Guys, where are you going to get this? Only here, never in the U.S. Say hola, mi amor. Hola. I love Colombia. And this next one, this woman is absolutely stupid. I'm not sure what kind of joke this was. It's not funny. The entitlement that they have is absolutely ridiculous. That They feel like they can do this to anybody's car. Hey, Excuse me, what you doing? Sorry. Why are you getting in that? I'm only, Get out! Sorry, I'm only, I'm only joking. Sorry, I'm only joking. And this sucks we have this male Karen over here. I guess he doesn't understand the dynamic of how gyms work and how they function. I guess he ended up hopping into a gym set while somebody was already using the workout, and I guess he ended up getting super mad at this. Why can't we just walk in? She takes five minutes off. I can't walk out during those five minutes. She doesn't have to let you do that. You do it. It's her. It's her. Everybody else is waiting because they're waiting. This is a platform for one individual and then somebody to walk. So really, you guys don't have a policy of sharing notes. This is her. Usually we have people. Speak to each other and be like, hey, I'll I did, and she said I could work in with her. Yeah, she changed her mind. You were I lost my place in the line. Someone else is gone in the meantime. Right, there's something called gym etiquette. Right? So, gym uh, etiquette means sharing weight. You know, you guys not a platform. It's not safe. You share weights on a platform. No, I'm not on the platform. And this sex with this man absolutely makes sense as well. Basically, he's saying if you hold on to spicy pictures from your ex, you're absolutely strange and weird. And to be honest, yes, you are. It's not Pokemon cards you guys can collect and show off to your friends. It shows very degenerate behavior that they're able to expose someone without caring. Send you spicy pictures. Never do this. There may be times where you get intimate over text. This is fun and all, but remember this key point. Don't be that weird guy that holds on to spicy pictures. A situation popped up where a guy leaked his ex-girlfriend's spicy photos. Guys, why? 
Why do you do this? This is the most immature thing you could possibly. And this next one, this actually makes kind of sense to me. 70,000 is kind of reasonable for a woman's standards. People in the comments are saying that was a bit too high. But in my opinion, if you're not able to make 70K, maybe you shouldn't be in a relationship until you actually reach that amount. How much would your boyfriend have to make a year for you to be happy? Happy. Maybe 70,000. 70,000? Why do you think that's a good number? Because I think you can be happy without money, like without a huge much. amount of money. Do you think that you should be making money as well or just him? I enjoy making money as well and learning. So for me personally, I would like to make money as well. And this next one, even though it was a joke or maybe like a movie skit, it does make a lot of sense because nowadays you really can't just speak proper English without trying to insult anybody. At some point, it just gets too confusing. And I'm just trying to have a decent conversation without you trying to get upset. I'm a triracial cisgendered girl bag. I identify as pansexual and my pronoun is she. Okay. Hi, Emerson. Gender fluid, hetero romantic, demisexual mutt, and a redhead. My pronoun is Z. Hey, I'm Rabbit, gender queer, tax attorney. I identify as Jennifer Aniston. Just kidding. V. Denver. DX. Chinese, Mexican, agender, intersex, AFAB. My pronoun is they. Okay. All right, is it okay if I ask a few questions? Better than to assume you know the answers. Um, what is inter, uh, inter, intersex? Uh, when a person is born with what is typically perceived as both male and female sex work. Uh, yeah, uh, what, um, AFAB? Assigned female at birth. When your parents decide your gender without considering how you may identify in the future. Okay, and what, what's the whole um, uh, pronoun thing? When we talk about DX, we say, ask them if they would like a coffee. But there's only one of him. Her. Them. <laughs> Fuck, I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll get it. It's okay. Okay. Now, following with the worst clip on the list, guys, this we have this woman over here who ends up getting kicked out because where she gets her income from, it's obviously OnlyFans. And I guess now she has to move in with her baby daddy. Absolutely ridiculous. Hey, why are you packing everything up? I got evicted. Why? They found out I was getting all my money from my subscribers. Does this mean you'll finally get a real job? Hell no. I'm gonna move in with my sugar daddy. Well, that does it, guys. So much for watching, guys. In the next one, take care. Peace.